What's up guys, Xbox Mob 360 here, and in today's video I'm going to be doing a review on a product that I've been dying to get my hands on, and that's the Duravis Dive 5 Virtual Reality Headset. So anybody who hasn't seen or heard of one of these headsets before, what they do is basically use your smartphone as the screen and they basically immerse you in virtual reality. So before I even begin reviewing the product, I'm going to show you guys everything that comes with it. First off, you get these two little cloth bags, one black and one white, either or you can use to carry around your dive. Both of the bags are very good quality, they seem like they're going to do their job just fine, they don't seem like they're going to break or like they're cheaply made or anything like that, so the bags are pretty good, I like those a lot. You get your user manual, and I found this very thorough, it came in English and German, but I'm sure if you order from a different country they'd be able to give you one in your language. You also get this case right here that you can put your phone in when you put it in the device, but it's kind of irrelevant to me because I believe it fits an iPhone 4 and nobody really has that phone anymore. You also get this little official owner's card, which I also found kind of random, but it doesn't really hurt at all. It's just like, I don't think you'd ever really need to prove ownership of the device, but it doesn't hurt to include it, I guess. And you also get this little magnetic upgrade kit. So this magnetic upgrade kit acts as kind of an extra button for like shooter games and stuff like that. It attaches to the side of your dive and they used to ship them separately but now they come with all of the dive fives. And the last thing you're going to see when you open it up is you're going to see these two little lenses and in the last shot I actually had them attached but I've taken them off to show you guys them. They kind of look like little magnifying glasses, they're kind of like fisheye lens. And to put those on it's really simple, there's a little plus shaped insert inside the dive. So you just put those in there so that the part of the lens that kind of bulges out like a fish's eye would be facing towards where the screen would be. And those are the key part to this device. Those actually act as the part that kind of makes everything look 3D and makes it look like you're being surrounded, like you're actually experiencing what you're seeing on the screen. So like I said, those should only take you a minute or two to install. It's really simple stuff. And then once you have them installed, it's actually pretty simple to adjust them. You can move it further or closer to your eye and you can move it more inwards towards your nose or further away so you can get the perfect fit so that everything looks crystal clear to you when you're wearing the headset. And I'm just going to quickly show you guys how you would install that extra button. Like I said earlier, it kind of acts as like an extra button in games where you might have a shooting feature or something like that. Now while I do like the button itself, the one big issue I have with it is the instructions that come with it. There's no instructions about the button anywhere in the big instruction manual. All you get is this one little piece of paper that has four little pictures and no words really. So I do think there is some good room for improvement there. I think they could make this a little more descriptive and maybe even explain the function of the button on this piece of paper. Because to be honest with you, anybody who purchased this device and didn't know what the magnetic upgrade kit was wouldn't know what the button does. But essentially, all you have to do to install this, it's really simple. You just take out the button from the little plastic bag and on the back of it, there's a little adhesive sticker. You're going to install the button right there on the spot that I just pointed, just like they do in the pictures. Now when you put it on there, make sure that you do not put it upside down. Put it just like they do in the pictures. I'm not sure if this would affect the function or not, but I really wouldn't risk it. And also make sure that you don't overlap it with the little hole that your lenses are being held in. So basically you're going to want to just find the right spot for it before you take the adhesive off. And once you find just the right spot, you're then going to take the adhesive off and just put it on there and press it down for a couple seconds and you should be all set. You are only going to have one really good try with this. If you peel it off and do it again, it won't stick as well as it did the first time. So you really should just be careful and do it right the first time. But once it's on there, you're all set. You don't need to worry about it falling off or anything like that. I think it looks pretty good too. I don't think it looks bad on there at all. And like I said earlier, they are now shipping these with all of the Dive 5s. But besides that little instruction kit, I do like the magnetic upgrade kit a lot. So opening this device up to put your phone in is pretty simple. You just pull back on this part right here where there's that little tab on the top. And inside this device, you're going to see the little divider in between the eyes. That's the part that you're going to want to line your phone up perfectly with when you put your phone inside the device. So to start off, you're just going to download any of the virtual reality apps off of their website. I would suggest starting with the roller coaster one. That's a really good introduction, but I'll give you guys a link to all of those in the description. So you're going to come to this screen right here where it has a little line dividing your screen in half. And all you guys are going to do is basically try to align that line on your screen with the little divider that separates the two eyes and that's how you're going to get the best viewing experience. So personally, I think the best way to do this is to lay your phone down on the part of the dive that folds downwards and then you're just going to line it up perfectly with that divider and once you think you have it lined up pretty good, you can then just fold it back up and close it. And they put so much padding around the area that holds your phone that it really holds it in place and it doesn't damage it at all so you don't have to worry about it falling out or getting scratched up or anything like that. So once you have your phone secured, in there you're then just going to hit the little play button on the screen but before you do that you might want to kind of put it up against your face and adjust those lenses so that they look perfect and clear 
but once you have those lenses aligned right and you have your strap tightened to the right amount, you're all set and ready to begin your virtual reality experience. So I'm going to be showing you guys some footage on the screen of what the device looks like while you're using it, and I'm going to try to get the best shot I can of what the device looks like when it's actually on your head. But I'm also going to use this time to give you guys my own little personal review of the product. And I'm going to try to avoid too much bias on the fact that this was my first time using virtual reality, so obviously I was blown away by this technology I'd never experienced before. So for starters, I am going to talk about the price. $50 is what it's probably going to cost you about to get one of these headsets, and I think that was a good price. There's a lot of other headsets on the market out there that have this same design and whatnot that are kind of made of cardboard. And while I do acknowledge that some people may like that better because it is cheaper, I was looking for something more durable, something that really felt like a virtual reality headset, and I definitely got it in this. This is well constructed. I mean, the plastic they use is definitely far from top grade, but it is good enough for me. It didn't break on me at all, and I've been using it for about a month now. So I did like the construction of it. I've been using it a lot, too. I've been using it pretty rigorously. I've been letting friends use it. None of the plastic parts have broken at all on me, so it's passed that test so far. And they do offer a lot of apps that you can use with this. There's not just riding roller coasters. You can actually play games, or you can walk around and stuff like that. And for anybody who doesn't realize how this works, while you are kind of in a 3D setting where it looks like not just a 2D screen but kind of more than that, you're also able to turn your head around and it turns with you. So it, it's a really cool experience for anybody who hasn't tried it, I would definitely suggest trying it out. One thing I didn't really like too much about it was that there's kind of an opening on the bottom of the dive where you can kind of see the person who's using it, you can see their eyes kind of, and there's that opening where you can kind of look down while you're using it and kind of see the ground. I kind of hope they would close that up a little so that you're really just immersed in this one setting and you can't really see the outside world. Maybe they have to have it on there for safety reasons, who knows though, maybe people were walking into walls with it or something like that. Overall, I would give this product about an 8, 8.5 out of 10. The construction leaves a tiny bit to be desired. The strap itself is very well constructed, it's just the plastic parts. I kind of wish they felt a little bit more durable. And I also kind of wish it was more compatible with more phones. I mean, I realize there's only so much they can do, but I had to use an old phone when using this because my iPhone 6 Plus didn't fit in there. I do realize that's kind of an irregularly sized phone, I'm sure they have an alternative for bigger phones. But that is a note to you guys, if you are going to buy this product, please be aware that if you have an iPhone 6 Plus, it's really not going to fit in there, so you do have to have a kind of regularly sized phone. So the company does advertise cardboard, VR, compatibility, and adjustable lenses, and both those statements are definitely true. And overall, for the money you pay, this is a very good deal. Just make sure the person you're getting it for, if you are getting it for somebody, does have a phone that is compatible with the device. This is definitely a really, really good gift idea, especially with holidays coming around. But anyways, guys, that's going to wrap up my review on the Duravis Dive 5 Virtual Reality Headset. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. If you like this video at all, hit that like button. And if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button for lots more great reviews. So as always, guys, thank you for watching from Xbox Mob 360